Welcome to the five-day Youth and Teen Winter Retreat of December 2022 at Soto Meditation Center. Guided by Awakened One Tit Tom Hoy and Awakened One Tit Yu Teen. Soto Meditation Center welcomes people of all ages, cultures, religions, and backgrounds to discover, realize, and merge with the awake world. The theme of this winter camp was to become a living Buddha and end the ego system. The word Buddha means awake, to be truly happy and truly free, in any situation disturbed by nothing. Day 1, we start off with a warm welcome to all of the students. We play some icebreaker games so the students can warm up, be themselves, and empty their cup. The theme for day one was the awakened one's five qualities and how they wake up our awake seed. We begin each day by refreshing our awake purpose by offering incense in gratitude to the Buddha and the awakened ones. Then we introduce the most important part of retreat through a video. Who are the awakened ones? And present one of awakened ones most popular awake tool, the water demo letting us know clearly who we are and who we are not. Become a living Buddha is about walking the path, not just understanding. Therefore, the awakened one guide us to support them towards the awake purpose of connecting with clear water in everything we do. Eating, dishwashing, playing games, sitting meditation, and even snack time. Maybe it's just a tiny seed. Choose a way world. At the end of each day, everyone gets a chance to have review and reflection time where they write in their journals what they realized and experienced along the journey to become a living Buddha. The theme for day two was clear view is my choice. We start each morning with review games, refreshing them for the day, the awake purpose. Okay, so one of the highlights uh, for me was from the awake one's mind opening. Uh, oh yeah, and like, when she was like talking about like the uh, candles and how uh, you have to keep the light on to like make the wax melt, and like um, from her talk, she says that like she cannot always be there like to keep you know the light on for us. Um, I realized from that like when she's saying that we we have to be the one that light the candle ourselves. Like we have to be the one that takes the initiative uh, you know not necessarily wait for Zen Master to, to do it sure it's like she can help us you know guide us but like we have to be wanting to take the initiative to you know be on this path and, and stay so that's like something that really was like that I found as a highlight for today. Awakened Ones introduced us to the Eightfold Path and the deep meaning of Clearview through the Become a Living Buddha song.
One of the students' unforgettable walking meditations was to hike through the awake trails while sharing to them about the awake tour created by the awakened ones. A real life interactive walk that clearly gives them the visual of the journey from illusion world to awake world, where the awakened ones live. The theme for day three was merge and end. One of the most memorable awake tools that the awakened ones gave us was a touch of what the awake world feels like through the box game. When you stepped out of the box, how was your feeling? It was like I saw like a, a bright light. Mm -hmm. Like when I came outside, it was, I guess it felt very fresh. It was like really, very open. Mm -hmm. it, it felt like it was Okay, good, good. Did you like it? Yes. Do you want to live like that? Yes. Okay, you can you know. We often apply awake sitting meditation so we can deeply absorb and reflect on all the amazing awake treasures and ways that Awakened Ones opens our wisdom mind. The outdoor sitting was new and was a favorite for many students. Some other things that seem new are the spontaneous moments of fun by doing an activity that requires teamwork, working as what awakened ones call water droplets. There you go. Okay, now your cur There you go. It's cute. Okay, ready? One. One. Yes, yes, yes. Chloe, higher. Yeah, there you go. Okay, almost ready. One, two, three. Very cute. To give them a deeper chance working as water droplets, all aiming towards one main goal to merge and end, they all got a chance to make a bonfire from A to Z, preparing the fire, the food, the atmosphere, and the awake entertainment such as songs and games all related to becoming clear water and letting go of dirty water. Is it possible to awake and fully merge into a wake world even if you don't ordain and and live life and choose to live life in the human world even as just as, as a student? The theme for day four was merge and end in daily living. The students got to go even deeper today with the box game. So what I learned from the box game is like when you're inside the box, it's like dirty water, being in dirty water, where a lot of thoughts pop up about like it could be negative, it could be positive sometimes. You see something, you think it's good, but 
another person could think it's bad. So these different mindsets are dirty water. So you can't, it's all like opinion. So whenever you step out the box, it's like merging with the awake world. And there you can see what something is truly. and afterwards had a chance to do some really meaningful writing to thank the awakened ones and their parents for the chance to realize about awake. For the final day was awake love. After several days from the guidance and support of the awakened ones, all students got a chance to go from understanding to realizing and experiencing what it truly means to wake up and become clear water, ending the dirty water inside of them. The last day is full of fun as each student gets a chance to merge and end. Through practicing different ways of expressing their gratitude to awakened ones, we all came together getting ready to celebrate through a meaningful and beautiful tea ceremony. Hi, good morning, Kenneth. Hi, good morning. So out of all the different um, awake activities and lessons that you received at the retreat, can you tell me which one um, stood out the most to you? Um, it was from day one where Awaken, Awaken One Tig Yu Ting, I, I saw her traveling around the world 
and defining about true happiness. She steps outside of what she felt home and she went to other countries and tried to like spread that familiar feeling to everyone else. And I kind of reflect on myself with the box activity. It, I relate to how I always stay at home to where I'm comfortable with and to where I'm comfortable with the people I'm with. And I feel kind of open about being with other people now. Okay, awesome. So the box game gave you an experience of what it felt like. Because I remember you were describing how it felt inside the box. Mm -hmm. And then like after you stepped out, it was a different experience and your chance to feel what it means to like be in a wake world, right? Hi, Chloe. Hi. All right. So can you tell me how were you before the camp and how are you now? What is it that you learned in the camp that helped you though? Like about clear water and dirty water. Okay. And um, then now you want to? Become clear water instead of dirty water. Awesome. I think that's really what helped you right there. So is there anything you want to say to Awakened Ones? Uh, thank you for teaching me these lessons and helping me become more clear water than dirty water. Thank you. And Master, could you help us please uh, be awake? We, we know that you're already awakened. So could you please help us be awakened? Could you please help us to be awakened? We know that you're the awakened ones. We we know you're already awake, so please help us to be awake. These five days have been a truly mind-opening experience for all of us, from the monastics to the youth and teens, as well as the parents. Thank you so much, dear Awakened One Tit Tom Hoy and Awakened One Tit Yu Ting, for your great vow, your wisdom and compassion to wake the world up and to wake all of us up. <laughs>